Hi, everybody. I um, just want to make a comment on the, uh, the budget. Um, it's what I feared. Uh, this is a budget that actually doesn't work. It simply doesn't work. The math doesn't work. It's not balanced. And it doesn't address the challenges that Pennsylvanians face, and that we all know Pennsylvania faces, especially when it comes to education. Um, so I'm going to veto the entire budget bill. So let me start with the first of these concerns that I have. You can quibble all the time, all you want, about partisan interpretations, but you can't argue with arithmetic. You can't argue with arithmetic. This budget is simply not balanced. And I have some things up here that, that show that. The math really doesn't work. There's embedded in this mess a huge deficit. And it's actually not embedded all that deeply. Over here, you can see a $3 billion uh, uh, deficit. Over here, you can see there's an $813 million expenditure, what they call an adjustment, an adjustment, $813 million. There's also $100 million up, up above there called a revenue adjustment in the 2015, 2016, their budget. There are gimmicks in here, smoke and mirrors, and a lot of kicking the can down the road. If we were to actually enact this budget, next year, Pennsylvania would face a budget deficit going into the 2016-2017 year, a $3 billion plus budget hole. And you can see that over here. Now, if credit agencies don't like our finances right now, they'd really hate it if I actually accepted this budget. I ran a business, and if I took a budget that looked anything like this to my bank, they would have thrown me out of the office. So on just math alone, this isn't partisanship. This isn't ideology. The math doesn't work. Two plus two equals four in the real world, not five. Second, this budget does not address the challenges Pennsylvanians actually face, nor does it address the things we need to move Pennsylvania forward. Example, it doesn't invest in education. Of course, beyond the $8 million that's in the budget. Or if you want to put it in real small terms, that's three cents, less than three cents per school child per school day. This budget that they have here does not enact a common sense severance tax. It doesn't give property tax relief to hardworking families and Pennsylvania seniors, some of whom are facing the possibility of even losing their home because of skyrocketing property taxes. And again, it certainly doesn't deal with our budget mess in an honest and forthright fashion. So I am truly sorry that we are at this place. I have worked hard over the last three months to work uh, with Republicans to open lines of communications with them. I've reached out to forge agreements. I have offered concessions. I have kept an open mind. And in return, what did I get? The Republican leaders have simply said no. No to schools. No to a reasonable severance tax to fund those schools. No to real property tax relief. No to a better, fairer Pennsylvania. So I want to change this. Let's change this. As of now, I am inviting Republican and Democratic legislative leaders to a meeting tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m. up here on this floor to sit down with me and begin the task of starting to figure out how we can agree on moving this state forward. I'm sticking to my broad goals, the ones that I set out in my budget address. I remain committed to a better Pennsylvania. I, com I remain committed to a fairer Commonwealth, and I still have an open mind. I look forward to getting to work on the people's business tomorrow. In the meantime, I am going to withhold my signature from House Bill 1192 in its entirety.